this is Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to go through anterior upper cervical anatomy. This is basically the set of ligaments that hold the skull to the atlas and the dens up front here. Uh, so you can see here, this is the uh, clivus here, the basion. Uh, if we go to this ligament here, uh, which lives just behind the dens or C2, then that's the tectorial uh, membrane. Now, it's interesting, it's called a membrane. It's pretty darn thick and it fuses with the uh, dura. So it's more like the tectorial ligament, if you will. Now we've got the apical ligament right here and you normally don't see these all that well, uh, but apical ligament there. Um, so it's going from the top of the dens to the basion. And then we've got the AAOM um, going from the superior portion of the atlas all the way to the basion. And then if we flip over here, we can see the newly discussed uh, SAOL, uh, which seems to be almost in two parts here. But that definitely this part, the SAOL, which becomes confluent with the anterior longitudinal ligament down here. So that's the upper cervical anatomy. Now be careful here because these are three millimeter slices and we happen to catch these ligaments because there's a little bit of fluid in this upper cervical bursa in this CCI patient. Many times you can't see these, but a lot of that is due to the fact that the MRI is either not high field enough or the other problem that we see is that the MRI slices are far too thick. These are three millimeter slices. And if you really wanna see these ligaments very, very well, like you're seeing them here, you either need some help with fluid in the bursa or you're going to need one or two millimeter slices through this area. So that's the upper cervical anterior anatomy on MRI. Thanks so much. Uh, have a great day.